In this video, we will design a simple timing belt pulley. So let's see how we can design this. So first of all, we'll start here a new part. Then select front plane sketch. Here, let's draw one circle. Like this, right click and then select. Now choose your smart dimension. Select this circle. 55 mm, enter, right click and then select. Next, we'll select your features and select extruded boss space. Here we have to select end condition blind and give your distance 30 mm. Reverse the direction and this direction. OK. Now let's select this backside face. Sketch. Again select here one circle. Smart dimension. Select this circle and give a diameter of 31 mm ok right click select again go to features and select extruded boss space this time extrude 10 mm ok now here again select this face sketch draw another circle like this right click select smart dimension give this circle diameter of 12 mm features and select here extruded cut end condition here will be through all ok now we have to create our tooth profile so select here of this face, sketch, first of all select a center line, draw one line like this, right click, select, then we will select here one center rectangle, draw one center rectangle like this from this point, smart dimension, this height will be of 2 mm length 7.5 mm then select right click select let me zoom it now smart dimension select this line and the center point give this distance 26.50 mm right click and then select now select here one circle draw one circle like this right click select smart dimension give this circle diameter of 6 mm Select the center point of the circle and the center point of this line. Make them here coincident. Now select here trim entities with power trim. Trim this circular portion like this. And this also, then this, and this. Okay. Now select again a line and draw one horizontal line like this. Right click, select. This line is not horizontal. To make it horizontal, select on line and click on here make horizontal. And you can see it's horizontal. Trim entities with power trim, trim this line. OK, smart dimension. Select the center point and this line. Give this distance 2.75 mm. OK. Again select trim entities with power trim. Trim this part. OK. Then select here fillet. 0.75 mm. Then 
select this point and this point ok close it now we have to fully define this sketch so we will just select here fully define sketch and just select calculate and you can see our sketch will be fully defined as it is in a black color ok now go to features and select here extruded cut end condition you have to choose here through all so that it will cut through all ok and you can see it is cut now we have to choose here circular pattern in the features you have to select this feature the cut extrude that we have done right now and in the direction you have to show here access click on this i button and you can see here view temporary access option click on it and you can see this is a temporary access so in the direction we have to select this temporary axis once we select it we have to give here number of entities ok so we will give here 23 numbers 360 degree and equal spacing we have to keep here ok let me hide all this axis ok so now you can see now we'll select here right plane sketch okay just select here corner rectangle draw one rectangle like this right click and then select smart dimension select this line and select this origin point give this distance 23 mm then select this line and give this distance 6 mm and this line and this distance is 1.20 mm right click and then select now just select here one center line you can see here one center point so from this point to upward side right like this select then choose here mirror entities select all of this this rectangle mirror about this center line and our this edge was not selected so let's select this ok now you can see it is mirror here ok now just select features and choose here revolved boss space here the axis selected is this axis but to but we don't want this axis to revolve so let's clear this by right clicking clear selection again here show axis and this time select this axis ok now you can see in the preview how it's revolved just select here ok ok now hide this axis hide this axis is also shown so select here this axis also and hide this to both ok now we have to select here chamfer select this outside edge and this outside edge 0 0.5 mm distance you have to give here 45 degree angle ok now our part is ready let's assign some appearance to this and just select here this color ok so that's it in this video i hope you like this tutorial please make sure to like share and subscribe us thanks for watching